This is structural welding in production, the most widely used type, and that can only be the flat fillet weld. Now, many beginners, when they first learn flat welds and flat fillet welds, often run into the same problem, slag inclusion. But really, it's just because the method isn't right. Let's take a closer look at how this type of flat fillet weld should be done. Slag inclusion mainly happens with 4.2 millimeter electrodes. These rods often produce slag problems because the molten metal is relatively thin. The flux coating is very thick and both the molten metal and the slag are extremely fluid. But overcoming slag inclusion is actually very simple. Increase the current. As long as your current is high enough, no matter how you weld, you won't get slag trapped. For 3.2 millimeter electrodes, I recommend using around 130 to 140 amps. Position the electrode right into the root of the joint where the two plates meet. Move slowly. If you go too fast, slag inclusion will occur. As the electrode gradually burns shorter, keep pushing it inward continuously. Many beginners don't build the proper muscle memory of feeding the rod in, so the weld bead doesn't form correctly. That's why defects appear. But if you just keep a steady and consistent travel speed, hold the arc firmly on the pool. The bead will definitely come out sound and straight. Once your current is adjusted correctly, you need to carefully watch the weld pool and learn to distinguish between molten metal and slag. Doing this, you'll be able to produce the same kind of bright, fine bead you see in the video. Don't weld with too little current. Follow me for daily welding analysis and tips. If this was helpful for you, please give a like and subscribe.